What's good, YouTube? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import and export 4K footage. Now, this video is really for beginners because a lot of people, they have 4K on their cameras, but they don't necessarily know how to import it and export it the right way. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick and easy. Okay, first you want to uh, right-click, you know, go to wherever your footage is, you know, select your footage. Now, this is real easy, y'all. This is real easy. Okay, we're going to click on the one that's right here. The first one, it's, as you can see, it says uh, 3840 by 2160. That's basically 4K, you know. You just want to click on it and drag it over, and it'll open up a new sequence for you. Then we can go to Sequence Settings and see, as you see, it's a 4K timeline. Make sure it's... Um, 23.976 frames per second. You know, and that's a big thing with me. A lot of people, they shoot in 60 frames per second, and then they end up exporting in 60 frames per second, and they make their video look all fast and, and, and surreal, you know what I'm saying, when they're supposed to be, you know, kind of that, have that movie vibe to it. So, as you can see... Now to export it, you just go to File, Export Media. And I have a little setting in here that I use. It's a preset, but I'm, I'm gonna go through it with y'all. Because one thing that's major is you wanna make sure that this option right here, the width and the height are, are set for 4K, which is basically 3840 by 2160. Go down, make sure it's uh, 24 frames per second progressive, square pixels. I always click that um, render at maximum depth, encode settings, um, profile, main, level, 5.1, and the bit rate settings. I always do two pass whenever I'm uploading um, 4K footage or the final version of a video, just so I can get the best quality out of it. And my target bit rate, I always use 40, 40, and 40, you know, just for my research. You know, you're not anything past this, you know, you're not going to really see a difference in it. And I always click use maximum render settings. I mean, use maximum render quality. Sorry about that. Then, you know, you just export it. And there you have it right there, how to import and export 4K footage. Now, if you find this video helpful, hit that subscribe button below. So stay tuned. I got more videos coming soon. Peace.